Hello, my name is Steve Harding, and I'm going to show you a quick demo of our Salesforce deduplication app, DupeCatcher. DupeCatcher is a real-time dedupe app that works on manual entry or web form registration entry into a Salesforce org. From your Salesforce homepage, select DupeCatcher on the menu on the top right. You will see the DupeCatcher home screen with its tab structure. Now, DupeCatcher works on filters and rules, and to get started, you need to create some filters and rules. So click Manual on the Filters tab. And creating a new filter is very easy. Enter a descriptive name for your filter and select the type of filter from the available options. And for this demo, I'll create a lead filter. Select the action you want DupeCatcher to take when it identifies a duplicate, either on insertion or on update. And you can even enter an optional customized alert message in the box below. Now, over on the right side of the screen, you can optionally select Bypass Security. Checking this box means that DupeCatcher will look for duplicates in the entire Salesforce database. If the box is left unchecked, DupeCatcher will only check those records that are viewable to the user creating and updating records. Down below that, the active checkbox works like a toggle switch, turning filters on or off. And in order for a filter to run, the active box must be checked. Down below that, you'll see the Create Tasks for Alerts menu, which is a feature of DupeCatcher that only functions when you select Report Duplicate as the matching action. And I'm going to cover that in another video. Click Save to create the filter, and the filter summary page will be displayed. The filter will only work if it also has at least one associated rule. And you set rules from the filter summary page by clicking on the Create New Rule button. On this page, select the fields you want to check for matches from the available options, and select the matching approach that DupeCatcher will use to apply to that field. And note that the matching approach will vary based on the field that you select. Click Save to create the rule, and return to the Filter Summary page, where you can see a summary of the filters and its rules. One important note is that you can create multiple rules within a single filter, but multiple rules within a filter function on an AND logic, meaning that all rules must match true for the filter to block a duplicate. Returning to the DupeCatcher Filters tab, you can see a list of all filters and whether or not they're active. A second important note is that you can have multiple filters active at the same time, but multiple filters function on an OR logic, meaning only one filter needs to match true for a duplicate to be blocked. Once your filters and rules are created, you can return to the Salesforce Sales tab and begin creating records. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to create a new lead. Simply enter the data as usual and click Save. DupeCatcher runs in the background, checking for matches. Now the action that DupeCatcher takes when it identifies a duplicate is determined by the matching action set when it created the filter. And in this case, the user is presented with a warning message alerting the user that the lead has been blocked. It includes the lead edit page of the new lead that was being entered in order to make changes, as well as hyperlinks to any matched records currently in the database. And it's as easy as that. For more information, please see our website at www.dubcatcher.com and look for more videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks.